Vice Rector Pfeiffer, Dr. and Mrs. Templeton, Chancellor Kallus, former Rectores and Chancellor, speakers and participants, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Research Center International and Interdisciplinary Theology at the University of Heidelberg, I should first like to welcome the members of the John Templeton Foundation, President Dr. John Templeton, Dr. Pina Templeton, Dr. Mary Ann Myers, Dr. Barnaby Marsh, Dr. Michael Murray, Dr. Paul Walson, and Rurik Miller. We are grateful that Dr. John Templeton Jr. will give a welcoming speech and that Dr. Michael Murray will present the Foundation's activities and I have to apologize that we had no PowerPoint support. Um, we thank Professor Stephen Post from Stony Brook University, New York for his commemoration of Sir John Templeton's life. And I should also like to thank Professor Stegmann and the Baroque Orchestra, Arpa Fessante, for their musical contribution to the ceremony. <clears throat> the Science and Theology Dialogue has been well established in Heidelberg since 1958. Located above Heidelberg's famous castle, the Research Center of Protestant Churches in Germany, the FEST, has cultivated this dialogue in consultations, workshops, and publications. Its current topics are interdisciplinary anthropology, concepts of nature, and questions of bioethics. In 1987, the year the Templeton Foundation was established, one of its members, Professor Emeritus Jürgen Hübner, biologist and theologian, published a book of more than 500 pages, The Dialogue of Theology and Science, a Bibliographical Report, 500 pages bibliography. Today it would probably need 10 volumes at least of similar size to provide an update in bibliography alone. It is my pleasure to welcome Professor Hübner, the former director of the FEST, Professor schmidt Asmann, and the current director of the FEST, Klaus Tanner, at this celebration. My own serious interest in this dialogue was raised at the Center of Theological Inquiry, the CTI in Princeton, and I'm very glad that the co-director, Robin Lovin, can be with us today. My interest was raised in the 1990s, much later where I had the privilege to meet international colleagues who had been engaged in the science and religion dialogue. Of this group of longtime dialogue partners, I'm most happy to welcome today the distinguished colleagues John Polkinghorne, um, Janet Soskis and Fraser Watts from Cambridge, UK, John Henley Brook from Oxford and Durham, William Schweiker and Catherine Temmer from the University of Chicago, respective Yale, um, Wenzel van Hoystein from Princeton, Robert Russell and Ted Peters from Berkeley, Owen Gingerich from Harvard, and Niels Gregersen from Copenhagen. I was amazed how many contacts we have developed in specific research projects and cooperation over the years. When we first met, several of you had already established cooperations with the John Templeton Foundation. In the late 1990s, the foundation offered me a grant to explore and document the science and theology dialogue in German-speaking countries. First, we identified more than 20 doctoral students and postdocs and brought them together for a workshop, workshop, a decisive event for several of them because they realized that they were not academic loners, strange people, but part of a community of researchers. It was a moving event, I can recall. We also explored in another project various models of discourse and their potentials, models which had been established in Heidelberg, in Marburg, in Princeton, in Cambridge, in Zurich, and in Berkeley, and in the papal summer residence, Castel Gandolfo. And it was very interesting to see where are the strengths and where are potentials for further development of the individual projects. My next contacts with the foundation occurred through several excellent consultations orchestrated by Dr. Mary Ann Myers and individual scholars within the general heading the Humble Approach Initiative. In particular, I had the privilege to co-organize with her 
one consultation with the first generation of academic Pentecostal theologians in New York, and one consultation with Greek and Russian Orthodox scientists and theologians here in Heidelberg. At the CTI in Princeton, we had had very good experiences with multi-year consultations in science and theology. We convinced the foundation to support three multi-year projects based in Heidelberg. One, body, soul, spirit, towards a multi-dimensional anthropology. Second, concepts of law in science, legal studies, and theology. And third, on law and love, science and religion in China and the West. All these initiatives, together with the John Templeton Award for Theological Promise, mentioned by our Vice President, have greatly contributed to the development of the Research Center for International and Interdisciplinary Theology, the FEED, here in Heidelberg, and also to establish a global network of research centers for theology, religious, and Christian studies, with now more than 40 universities in all continents where we exchange young docs and postdocs for one term and so create new forms of academic cooperation. They also encourage the Heidelberg physicist Jörg Hüfner and me together with the astrologist Stefan Maul and the biologist Hermann Bujan to set up a permanent discussion group of Heidelberg professors from both the humanities and the sciences. It was not an easy task but a very rewarding, I can tell you. Today, the dialogue across the boundaries of the disciplines is a matter of course in this university, a university which proudly understands itself as comprehensive university. The John Templeton Foundation has greatly contributed to the fact that theology and religious studies are constructive and vital conversation partners in this multidisciplinary cooperation. Therefore, we are very grateful that together with you, we can celebrate the harvest of 25 years of your radiation, a radiation which among many places has also extended to the University of Heidelberg. Thank you very much.